Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you a rather bizarre ending to a chess game, okay? Now, what's going to happen is... <coughs> um, my opponent is going to be forced into a queen exchange, okay? Which will cause checkmate, okay? So basically, I will take their queen, and then they will be forced to, t to take my queen in return, even if they don't want to, they have no choice. So it is a forced queen exchange, essentially. And after that, it's checkmate. Now, I'm just showing you some moves until we get to the position. is rather unusual play in some ways. That is essential, okay? That it's essential to notice what you've just seen. The rook goes straight to nearly the top. They've moved it out of the way so they can then later try and um, stop me doing something or so they think. I'll just take a pawn. This is to try and stop them um, moving, trying to force me into check. They get me to check anyway, but I just take it. This is all part of the plan, believe me. Now, I take their knight with my bishop. They then threaten my bishop, knowing that if I take it, if they take my bishop and I take um, the bishop with my queen, um, then I'll lose my queen. But don't worry about that. I'm actually going to sacrifice the bishop. And on the surface, it seems like a really stupid move. But watch very carefully. I now move my, my rock. So that... Um, it looks like I'm about to threaten it so that if the, they take the bishop with the rook, I can then suddenly um, take their queen simply by forcing a check and then taking the queen. However, that's not quite what they do. Instead, they decide to take the bishop with the queen, thinking they're being very clever. However, they're not quite clever enough. They've now lost the game and uh, there is absolutely nothing they can do about it. And I will show you why. You see now, this is something called a double check. I'll show you that again. I move the bishop. And the king is now in check with both the bishop and the rook. That means it cannot move the, this bishop here to stop the check because there's still a check here. It cannot stick any, It cannot even sacrifice the queen and put the queen in front of the bishop, upside down of the rook. Because that will also not stop the check from here. Therefore, the king has no choice but to move their king. This is the only place the king can move to that's out of check. The reason is, is because they cannot move anywhere on this row because of this rock. Now, the next move is almost a queen sacrifice in a way. I actually force a queen exchange. And it is even if I, I wasn't even sure about it, so even double checked, it's actually a forced queen exchange, which is what makes this so 
um, amazing. I now take their queen check. There is absolutely no legal move they can do now apart from to take my queen. They have no choice. I originally thought they might have been able to move somewhere or do something to stop them taking the queen, but no. The only legal move they can actually do is to take the queen. They have no choice. So now they take my queen with a, my rook. Sorry, their rook. Sorry, my, they take my queen with their rook. Now, this is at this point, it doesn't look too brilliant for me. You see, let's look at the number of pieces. I've got three pawns. He's got three pawns. Oops, just a minute. I have two rooks. He has two rooks. I have a, a bishop. He has a bishop. But he also has a knight. So he's actually up a piece. Okay. Also, I'm looking rather vulnerable at this point. Because he can on a, could, in theory, you'd think, on the next move, move the rook down to here, check. And he can also later start taking a pawn, check. Not check, but he'd actually, and then basically try and take the pawns off. Also, you'd think. But the next move I did, checkmate. And he could not stop it. It's, it's checkmate because this bishop is stopping him taking the rook. <coughs> yeah, and he cannot move on this row because of this rook. So let's go back a bit here, shall we? Because he took, I'm assuming it's a he, um, it could be a she, I have no idea, um, took my bishop, it meant it was immediately then checkmate and they could not stop it. So there you go, a checkmate that wasn't immediately obvious. And that is a bizarre ending to the game, where a forced queen exchange, a queen exchange that's been forced, causes checkmate. Would you have thought that a game would be immediately lost after exchanging queens? Possibly not. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!